Hi everybody, it's time for Tuesday product reviews and if you're an amateur vlogger who's in the market for a uh, smartphone gimbal that's affordable and add a little bit of a cinematic flair to your everyday vlogs, I've got the product for you. Okay, today we're going to unbox and review the Vlog Pocket foldable smartphone gimbal from Feiyutech. So let's pop this bad boy open and see what's inside. Okay, so right away, packaging, very professional, very nice, foldable, pocketable, we'll find out. Portrait and landscape shot, object tracking, which is a really cool feature, and control smartphone camera. So let's open this bad boy up and see what we've got inside here. Warranty card. Instructions, you know I need the instructions. Nice carrying pouch. Tripod. USB power cord. And the actual gimbal itself. So here it is, the foldable gimbal. Um, I like it. I think it's pretty great. I did check. It's called a vlog pocket So I put it in my pocket to see if it would fit and it does I can put it in my pocket and walk all around with it I intend to take it later to a balloon festival and we'll see what that footage turns out like but right now I'm gonna unfold Pop it into position and Put my phone in this thing and let's do some testing Let's walk around test it out on Gabriel and see what the footage looks like So far, I'm really enjoying this gimbal. I think there's a lot of potential for some really uh, smooth Gabriel footage in my future. For right now, what I want to do is do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Zion Smooth Q, which is a, uh, a bit more involved gimbal. What I really want to test is the image stable. Uh, st I want to be able to walk down the sidewalk holding both of these side-by-side, -side, filming the exact same thing at the exact same time and uh, let's compare the footage and see what, what it looks like. Is this more expensive gimbal gonna give me smoother footage than this affordable gimbal? Let's find out. Okay, had to bring the product review indoors. It is roughly the temperature of the sun outside and when you live as close to the DFW airport as we do, um, you get a lot of air traffic. Makes filming review videos outdoors a uh, stressful, stressful process. It takes a long time. So anyway, as you can tell from the side-by-side -side footage, there is a little bit of a jitter when you're walking with this uh, vlog, with this um, particular gimbal, but that's really only noticeable because it's side by side with footage taken from a higher end gimbal. Um, when you're filming alone with this particular um, gimbal, the footage, it, the jitter, this, the walking is not recognizable. It's barely noticeable at all when you're, you know, when you're looking just at that footage by itself. Um, I had the opportunity to take this bad boy out, give it a test run over the weekend. We did go to uh, a balloon festival and I got some pretty cool footage of well it's, it's pretty windy so they uh, weren't able to get the balloons up very well um, but I did take some footage out there I took some footage at a local taekwondo school uh, so we're gonna take a look at that right now so you can see what kind of footage you can get with this thing
be or not to be? That is the question. Actually, the question is what do I like and dislike about this gimbal? Okay, so what do I like and dislike about this particular gimbal? I'm gonna give you four of each, which I think pretty much encompasses everything uh, that, that has to do with this gimbal. Um, what do I like? One of the things that I like the most about this is that it's compact. Um, I showed earlier the Smooth Q. That one does not fold, doesn't bend up. It actually has a case. It looks like a little mini guitar case. Uh, so carrying that around seems a little bit cumbersome. If I wanted to take that particular gimbal uh, to a balloon festival, it's a little impractical. I'd have to carry it, you know, or find a place to put it. Um, this one, literally, just I showed you earlier, just folds up into a really small, compact shape that does, in fact, fit in your pocket. Um, the second thing, there's no setup. Lift that thing up, done. You, you unclip it, there's, it clips into position, it holds it into position while it's um, not being used. Um, you put your phone in there, unlock all those things, and then turn the thing on, and then you go. There's no calibration uh, with the other, like I said, the other, the Smooth Q that I have. It um, requires balancing. Um, I have to adjust the center of gravity when I put my phone in. If I wanna add uh, an external lens to the phone, um, I have to adjust the center of gravity uh, on that gimbal and it takes time. Setting up that, uh, that particular gimbal is not something that I could just pull out really quick and get good footage of something. And it, you usually have to set it on a level surface so that you can balance it and things like that. Um, it, it takes some work. It's a professional level piece. This is a bit for, more for amateurs uh, and you know, just people that want to add smooth footage to their vlogs, to their videos and things like that. Um, this one, you can add the external lens to your phone, to your camera, and just go. It doesn't take any additional setup, no balancing, no calibration. I have been using this quite a bit and have yet to see it drift. Sometimes gimbals uh, get out of balance and they will kind of start to lean to the side a little bit. And then you have to stop what you're doing and kind of recalibrate them. Um, this one has not done that yet. In, in any of my testing, any of the, the use this weekend that I've done so far. Uh, the other thing that I really enjoy is quality footage. Uh, I've been using this gimbal, like I said, all weekend and have, have been really pleased with the way that the footage has turned out. Um, it has been smooth. Uh, the app that, the camera app, most gimbals come with a camera app uh, that allow the gimbal to control things like, so if you wanted to turn, you know, start recording and things like that from the gimbal itself, it has buttons. This one has a trigger button on the other side of it. Um, all of that is controlled within the app. Um, but the footage itself is just, is really good. It's really quality footage. I've been really pleased with it. Uh, and then the fourth thing that I did just kind of touch on a little bit is the app. The app itself, um, it's very simple. It's easy to use, but it has a lot of features within it. Um, and I'm not going to go into those, but it has like light rail, uh, which is a kind of a cool thing that it'll do that, that yeah, I really don't know how to explain it. <laughs> so you can kind of see right now in the footage. Um, it also has, you know, slow motion um, and time lapse and things like that. So there are a lot of things that are features that are easy to find, uh, photo features that are easy to find. It's all very easy to set up uh, within the app. So what do I dislike about this gimbal? Not much. This gimbal has a limited range of what it can do in terms of like angles. This is considered the flashlight hold. You're holding it like a standard flashlight, like you would hold a flashlight. Um, this gimbal, as you can see, it should be facing forward. Um, and it, it can't do that. So if I were to walk straight, if I wanted to walk while holding this gimbal straight out, um, I'm going to film the ground uh, because, yeah, as you can see, the camera is facing downward. So if what your subject has to be in front of you and level with the gimbal so that you can go back and forth and you have to hold the gimbal straight up and down in order to, to really uh, get the most out of its function. So some of the range, uh, as you can see, I can do that and then it stops. It starts to spin. This is great. But then right there, 
we start to move the camera again. So some of the, uh, the range of, of the gimbal itself is a little limited, but that's not a bad thing. If you're, like I said, if you're an amateur uh, vlogger who's just looking to add some smooth footage, uh, getting some footage of their kids playing and stuff like that to add to your, to your vlogs, excellent. It's gonna do this for you. Number two thing I don't like, mode switching. Now, this is a problem. This is with this particular gimbal. This is an issue. Um, it's also an issue with the smooth cue. Um, any gimbal that min limits the number of buttons that you have uh, minimizes those in the in the uh, for the sake of simplicity. Um, my dogs want to be in the vlog. For the sake of simplicity, uh, you're going to have this issue. To switch between modes, you have to double press buttons. And so you have to remember which mode you're switching into. Uh, this particular gimbal, I believe, only has two modes, which makes it pretty easy. And then to reset, you just have to press the trigger button twice and it kind of everything, you know, right back to the starting point, which is actually a pro. It is a little difficult to remember what mode you're on and, and which buttons to push twice and, you know, things, mode switching, feature switching within the app, I mean, within the, uh, the gimbal uh, buttons can get a little confusing. It's not a huge, huge con in my mind for some people that have a little bit a little can remember things a little better it's probably probably not a con in your in your case the other thing earlier i was talking about the the limited range there's no way to control the angle so if i was right here and that's also you know a limit to the gimbal itself is not it's not really built for you to be able to like to push a button and make the camera go up or go down or, you know, think, look from left to right. But I can't, there's no joystick or control right here. There's a little bit of some controls in the app itself, um, but there's not much. Just so that you're aware, you can't, can, you cannot control the angle of the camera from the gimbal itself. And last, the record button within the app is um, mischievous. <laughs> I'll say that. In its standby state, or its not recording state, it looks like it's recording. When I hit record, the red button on the inside of the button turns brighter red and kind of a squared shape. But when you hit stop, it goes to a, um, a, a more opaque red. It's not lit up. The iPhone's default camera app does a really good job of this. You know when it's recording and you know when it's not recording. When it's not recording, there's a big red circle. When you tap on it, that red circle changes to a red square and the counter starts, so you know that it's recording. But within this app, when you tap on it, that tiny little red button changes from an opaque red to a solid red and the counter is at the very bottom in tiny little, in, in little numbers. That's not really a con on the, on the part of the gimbal itself. That's the app that comes with the gimbal. Um, so I can't really hold that against them, but there were a few times when I thought that I was recording something and it turns out I wasn't. Um, and I was a little bummed. But all in all, that's kind of a small thing to, uh, to consider a con. Okay, so my final thoughts on the Tech Vlog Pocket Foldable Smartphone Gimbal. I think that the, if you have uh, no experience with a gimbal and that you're looking to add some quality footage, smooth footage uh, to your vlogs. If you wanna take your vlog up a level, then this is the perfect gimbal for you. Um, you don't need any experience to get this thing set up and to get started using it very quickly. Um, like I said, no calibration. Uh, you don't have to balance it or anything like that. You can take it out of the box and start using it. I love that about this this uh, gimbal. It's very quick, very fast. The app is simple. It's designed, everything about this vlog is designed to keep things as simple as possible. And I think that's an excellent feature. Um, if you are a professional level user, you've, done, you've used a lot of other gimbals and things like that, um, I think you might find this vlog a little bit, I mean this uh, gimbal a little bit uh, limiting. This may not necessarily be for you. Um, but I would definitely recommend this. I know a lot of other uh, amateur vloggers, a lot of us out there who, who got started about the same time, who were like, oh, YouTube monetization is just, with, just within reach. If you're trying to, you know, if you're one of those people, a lot of my friends, if you're trying to up 
your vlog game, I definitely recommend this, this product to you. There's gonna be a link uh, to this product and a link to their, to their Amazon store. They offer a wide, wide range of very cool products. Um, links to all that stuff in the description. You can check them out. Uh, I'm excited about incorporating footage from this particular gimbal into our future vlogs. So if you enjoyed this vlog or this review, <laughs> give this video a thumbs up and uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time.